Rookies, uh, welcome to our tutorial about how to fade in and fade out using CSS. We'll start with fade in first. Um, so what we're going to do is I'm going to fade in this sentence right here, fade me in Scotty. Um, I have the class name, I, I labeled it fade in. Uh, the, mo the more self-explanatory of class name, the easier it is to determine what it does. So first things first, um, before you even do anything here, we're going to use something called keyframes to, to make this happen. And the way you do it is you put a at keyframes and it does it wants to complete it for you, so press tab. Oops. There we go. Now identifier is basically what you're going to name it. It's kind of like a class name. Um, and if you should name it to what it does. So it, this will fade in, let's name it fade in. Um, and then after that, what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a fade in, we're going to do from, and that's gonna be curly brace, from an opacity of zero to curly brace, opacity of one. And then over here, what we're going to do is type in animation. And animation will connect up to your keyframe. So these two kind of connect together. So these also need to connect. Whatever you put here has to connect to whatever you named this uh, keyframe. So copy and paste that there. And now you're going to tell it how long you want it to take. So let's do two seconds. And let's hope this works. Let's see. Uh, whoops. Okay, I need to actually get that going. Um, fade in, fade out. Here we go. All right. Boom, fade me and Scotty, and it faded in in two seconds. Of course, um, you can put this up to as much as you want. Let's do six seconds. So it's the time it takes for it to completely fade in. Now, in order to fade it out, um, it will be almost pretty much the same thing. So let's copy paste this. Let's enable this fade out we'll just change this text and make it more set make it more sense um, and now let's go ahead and copy paste this and this one's going to be called oops fade out and it's going to go the exact opposite it's going to go from opacity one to opacity zero Fade out animation. This is gonna be called fade out, and this oh, this is just three seconds. So take three seconds for it to fade out. Wow, magic, baby. Um, now it's for fun. Let's make that the same. So one fades in, one fades out. fades back in for some reason um, yeah that's it so if you um, want to fade in and fade out anything I suggest using the keyframes uh, keyframes makes it a lot easier because you can name it whatever you want to name it and make it do what you want using from and to and yeah that's the easy way to fade in and fade out in CSS all right hope you enjoyed it hope you learned something and see you on the flip side